Hi, in this video I will walk you through the Portrait Digital Planner uh, from this bundle. This planner comes in two uh, main color themes. It's uh, the black paper one and the white paper one. So all of the features are identical. Uh, let's stick to the black one. Uh, so uh, basically to navigate your planner uh, when you uh, first open your planner, you will land on this index page. Uh, from this page, you can access uh, the uh, first the pages of your um, monthly, weekly, daily planner schedules, etc. And also access uh, uh, grouped uh, templates uh, that you can use within your planner. We will go back uh, to that uh, later. So firstly... Uh, to navigate the planner, choose uh, your month, for example, the month of May. And from this monthly page that you can use, of course, uh, to plan uh, your month, uh, you can access two other dated monthly pages, like uh, the monthly overview page, uh, with the sections to track your habits within the month and uh, current projects, etc. And also there is a monthly finance page, uh, dated for the same month. Uh, when you are on any page of your planner, you you can uh, preview your year by uh, clicking this year tab or or simply simply tapping this uh, year number here, uh, or even uh, go back to monthly page uh, also by tapping either this uh, uh, writing May or here using the monthly tab for me so basically uh, or all variable data on planner pages like uh, dates uh, year weeks etc everything is hyperlinked so for example if we, if we click here we go back to uh, the monthly page uh, from the monthly page we can access uh, daily and weekly pages uh, thanks to hyperlinks so if we click on this uh, number here, we will go to uh, this uh, weekly planner page. And um, let's just uh, shortly go back to uh, monthly page. Uh, if we click this little schedule icon here next to this week number, then we will go to the weekly schedule uh, page. So uh, you can easily access these two different weekly layouts from your monthly page. Also, uh, if you are on a uh, schedule page, you can go back to weekly page, just tapping here, back to weekly. And from weekly, you can go back to schedule using this menu in the top left corner, where, where you also can uh, go back to your monthly overview, my monthly finance for this month of May, and uh, as we said, uh, the schedule. And there is also a blank notes page for every uh, week of the year uh, that you can use. Uh, you can, of course, uh, if you need more uh, uh, space to write, you can duplicate, always duplicate this page in GoodNotes. It's just like this. Uh, tap this little plus icon and just say, uh, uh, duplicate the current template. And if you just click on it, it will duplicate itself for the specific week. And from this, of course, notes page, you can go back to weekly page or any other monthly and weekly pages linked at the top left corner. Uh, basically, from any monthly and weekly page, you can always tap on the day and go to uh, the daily page. Note that this uh, bundle includes uh, three different daily layouts. And depending on which one did you choose, you would get uh, this uh, daily page to look like this, for uh, example, for productivity and for well-being or just simply plain uh, daily notes, uh, you would choose a different planner uh, variation. Uh, also, when we are on this daily page, uh, you can click here on the week to go back to weekly page and again here. Go back to daily and of course use these uh, writings in top left to go back to monthly overview finance, weekly schedule and weekly notes for this uh, specific uh, week that uh, for uh, May 2nd is, is in this specific week. Go back to weekly schedule notes and a weekly page. So uh, those were the data pages of your planner. And of course uh, this planner includes uh, many additional templates uh, that you can use. 
uh, for example, uh, here uh, in the top right corner are some of the templates that are accessible from any page in the planner that would be m the most useful to you, like uh, the space uh, to jot down some quick notes and uh, to-do list, um, important dates, uh, here are a few uh, folder uh, folder separators uh, that you can use to organize any content, just uh, take uh, some of the template pages included on the index and copy after this page, I will show that shortly. Of course, you have your meal planner here and yearly finance. And there is a completely blank page that you, you, you can use however you like. For example, if you want uh, some of the templates uh, accessible to you at all times in just a click, you can paste them on this page here and have them uh, uh, always accessible by tapping this little star icon in the uh, top right corner. So let's just go through the... Uh, some of the uh, uh, additional uh, templates that are included with this planner. They are grouped uh, by finance, health, fitness, well-being, organization, productivity, and um, you can see here an uh, information log. There are also a few template pages that you can use within your uh, project folders. So if we go, for example, uh, to this rule page and uh, we copy this page, and then we go, for example, to this uh, folder uh, separ separator page and just uh, uh, paste this page after this one. This is how uh, you uh, fill in your folder, so to speak. So you can write the name of your folder, folder description and just duplicate and insert as many different pages or any content, content you like. And you can have it easily accessible from this <clears throat> top right corner uh, uh, and these links are um, <clears throat> present on any day uh, on any page uh, of uh, your planner so for example <clears throat> you have this uh, workout log template so uh, you can use it you know um, like this you can just uh, access it always from the index and just click on your workout log and fill it in but if you uh, and if, if you would like to use it again, you can just, you know, simply um, clean this page. So if you have uh, filled it in uh, and you want to use it again, you can just say uh, clear page and use it again. But if you want to, you know, keep your information and, ha and have this workout log avail avail available for every week, you can simply mm, copy this page and uh, go to um, a week uh, in your planner. To the weekly page and just uh, paste this page for example after a weekly page and after every weekly page if you would like so when you go to a weekly page just swipe once and you will have your workout log available uh, the other option uh, is to um, use uh, the weekly notes page if you do not want to you know if you do not need the notes page then just sim simply um, screenshot this uh, workout log okay and then let's go to weekly notes page and let's paste this oh sorry what happened there so we were on the notes page let's do this again paste page uh, so let's paste it here on this uh, weekly notes page. So there was um, a back to week button here. <laughs> so when we go to notes page, you can have your uh, workout log and you can fill it in and have all the links, uh, you know, to uh, your other monthly and weekly pages for that month available this way. Uh, that is one way to use uh, the inserts. So insert them after a page and swipe or uh, screenshot and paste them over already linked page that you do not want to use that often. Or you can simply use it within this section and um, 
uh, clear the page whenever you want to reuse it or maybe just you know go to this workout log and once you filled it in you can uh, you know use this and duplicate this template as many times as you need and just swipe between your templates so this is uh, this was the uh, walkthrough of uh, your uh, portrait digital planner so uh, just shortly here is the uh, white version of it uh, all, the, all of the features are completely the same here thanks for your time